Hello, good day everyone. I'm Tevs. Welcome back to this channel. This next repair is a TCL 32 inch smart LED TV. Model LED 32 S6500. Not turning on and has no standby light indicator. I'll show you how to fix it. If you are new to this channel and found it informative, so don't forget to like share and subscribe you can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated so let's get started The TV has no power so let's measure the voltages. No voltage were measured on the rectifier diodes. The main capacitor is charged at 326 volts which means the fuse is not blown. Let's discharge the main capacitor using my 220 ohms resistor 20 watts. Let's remove the hybrid board so we can easily test more of the components. In some cases, no output voltage is a shorted rectifier diode is one cause of the problems. So let's test the rectifier diodes if there are any shorts of them. We don't test any shorted diode. A group of dead ants is at the terminals of the power MOSFET. I don't have any idea why ant is doing that. They may get electrocuted and it is also the cause of the power supply failure. The power MOSFET seems okay. This is the VCC filter capacitor. Let's test the continuity. It is beeping, means it has a short circuit at the VCC line. Let's remove the power MOSFET so we can test the components under the heat sink.
The power MOSFET test seems okay. This diode also shorted. It is the rectifier supply of the VCC. We still do not know what the shorted component is. It is the rectifier diode, the PWM driver or a capacitor. We can trace it by removing one of those components that is connected to the VCC line. Let's first remove the PWM driver. The rectifier diode is not shorted now. And also the filter capacitor. So the PWM driver is the shorted. I don't have that PWM driver to replace with it. I want to fix this TV right away, so we will modify it again using the STRW6053N. <coughs> Let's apply a thermal paste before we screw the IC. Let's not yet tighten the screw so we can align the pin 3 of the IC into the source hole of the power MOSFET. Now let's align the IC pin 3 to the source hole of the MOSFET.
Now the IC pin 3 is in alignment with the source hole of the MOSFET, so let's tighten now the screw. Now let's prepare the other pins of the IC and solder a wire to them. The pin 5 and 7 will be soldered together and we will solder a black wire to them. Red wire to pin 4 which is the VCC. White wire to pin 6. The power supply uses two optocouplers. But seems they are connected in parallel. So any of them is okay to use. Someone asked why I put a capacitor in the optocoupler but others don't because some of a power supply circuit has a different design just like this video that I uploaded as you can see I removed some of the components connected to the optocoupler which the STRW6053N doesn't need so I add a capacitor to the optocoupler now let's trace the capacitor connected to the optocouplers This is the capacitor that is connected to the optocouplers, so we don't need to add a capacitor. Let's now put the STRW6053N in place. Now solder the STRW6053N pin 3 to the MOSFET source hole. And solder the heat sink.
Let's first connect the red wire which is the VCC. Now the white wire which is the pin 6 or the feedback to octocuplers pin 4. Now the black wire which is pins 5 and 7, connect to the ground. Lastly, pin 1 which is the drain of the STRW6053N, connects to the drain pin hole of the MOSFET. Let's use solid copper wire to connect them.
The STRW6053N is connected completely. I'm not sure if I connected the IC correctly so I always solder my 220 ohms 20 watt resistor at the fuse line, so it will not get smoke whenever I wired it not correctly. Let's try if we have an output voltage now. We have an output now of 12.075 volts. Seems the power supply is ok now so let's put back the fuse and see if it will work.
Seems working now. A few moments later. The TV now is working great. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. You can help this channel by liking and subscribing. You can also ring the notification bell to keep you updated. Once again I'm Tefs. See you again next time. Bye for now.